In 2009, US Airways Flight 1549 hit a flock of Canada geese less than two minutes after departure from LaGuardia Airport in New York. The A320 lost power to both of its engines, and after attempts to relight them proved unsuccessful, the pilots had to make a water landing in the Hudson River. Dubbed the Miracle on the Hudson, all 155 passengers and crew survived. While this is a remarkable story of perseverance in the face of adversity, and makes for a pretty good movie, it also instilled fear in much of the flying public. Next time you fly, should you be worried about hitting a bird? Let me explain. The event in which a bird hits a plane is called a bird strike, and I kinda got some bad news. Between 1990 and 2014, the number of bird strikes reported to the FAA jumped from under 2,000 a year to over 13,000. Now, some of this is due to an overall increase in the number of commercial flights, and some of this is due to stricter reporting standards. But regardless, this uptick is concerning. However, you probably don't remember hearing about a single one of those bird strikes because usually they're not that big of a deal. Pilots will attest that, in most cases, they don't even realize they've hit a bird until they're back on the ground inspecting the plane. Operationally, bird strikes rarely affect safe flight because jet engines are so powerful that the birds kind of just disintegrate upon impact. As a matter of fact, during testing, engine manufacturers will fire bird carcasses into their engines to make sure they destroy the birds and not the other way around. US Airways Flight 1549 was an anomaly in that it encountered a large flock of Canada geese, which are particularly large birds. When these birds hit the engines, they didn't clog them as you may imagine. Rather, they severely damaged the engine's internal components. Engines rely on a stream of uninterrupted airflow, also known as laminar flow, in order to stay operational. This is part of the reason the engine inlet sticks out in front of the primary fan. It needs to be able to redirect air that's approaching the inlet from many angles, say from crosswind, into one consistent stream. It's also the reason why the inlet is never painted. Even the smoothest of paint jobs can interrupt airflow into the engine, making it less efficient. In the case of US Airways Flight 1549, the bird strike damaged internal components of the engine to the point where airflow is completely disrupted. The engines stalled as a result, which essentially equates to an engine backfiring on an automobile. It's actually pretty easy to tell when an engine has stalled, Usually, it looks something like this. While this looks dramatic and almost like the engine is exploding, oftentimes pilots can rectify the issue by shutting the engine down and relighting it. However, in the case of US 1549, the damage was so extensive that a relight wasn't possible. Okay, so birds taking out an engine isn't all that common, but of course the engine isn't the only part of the plane that a bird can hit. If you've ever seen a sight like this before, that was likely caused by a bird strike. Now, this may look like irreparable and catastrophic damage, but it's not. Behind a plane's nose cone is the radar, and because of that, the nose cone can't be made out of the typical aluminum alloys that comprise the rest of the fuselage. Rather, the nose is made out of fragile fiberglass, through which radio waves can pass. As such, nose cones are pretty easy to dent, and they're also pretty easy to replace. When a bird hits another part of the plane, which might be made out of aluminum or high-strength carbon composites, the bird can still leave a mark, albeit a much smaller one. This sort of damage requires more extensive repair, but almost never affects an airplane's ability to fly. Though planes are resilient to bird strikes, freak occurrences can still occur. As such, airports take measures to ensure that birds don't congregate near runways. One of the coolest and most effective tactics includes blasting different bird distress calls from speakers that are fitted to airfield operation vehicles. 
So rest easy people. While another miracle on the Hudson could hypothetically occur, it's incredibly unlikely that it'll happen to your flight. If you learned something new today, leave a like and subscribe to keep learning. And until I see you again, don't forget to look up.